Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be my October favorites. I don't have that many things this month, which I'm actually kind of happy about. It means that this video isn't going to be endlessly long. But if you want to see the products that I love this month, keep watching. <laughs> Also, another good thing, I don't have any hates this month. I thought there was going to be one or two things, but there wasn't. I actually generally enjoyed everything that I used this month. So I'm going to start off with two things that I talked about recently, and then I'll move into maybe some things that I haven't talked about. The first two things I want to talk about are two fragrances this month. As you know, in my recent little Sephora haul, I've been talking about how I've been loving like amber and vanilla and sandalwood and tonka bean. And these two fragrances have just been I've been loving and living in, like literally living in these months. This is from Givenchy. This is one of their private blends, the Ombre Tiger or Tigre. If you watch my channel, you know I mis mispronounce, can't even pronounce, mispronounce everything incorrectly. Um, but this is just a beautiful, sexy, sensual amber f uh, flavor. That's another thing I do. I call fragrances flavors. I love this. Um, and this one I had been wearing all month as a sample and I had it in my empties video and then I was like, I need to buy this. And so I bought this and this is from Commodity. This is gold. This is just beautiful amber vanilla against sandalwood. I just love this. This is what I'm wearing today. These have just been the ones I've been going back and forth with wearing and I just adore them. Next up, I want to talk about two lipsticks I've been loving, and they're both from YSL. I've been wearing these pretty much all the time. Uh, this is um, Fuchsia. Uh, this is in color uh, 19. This is their uh, uh, Couture or Rouge Couture Per thing. Rouge Per Couture. I always get those three words mi mixed up all the time. You know it. Um, beautiful formula. Very moisturizing. I absolutely love it. Um, and then this is the one I'm wearing today, which is color 70. This is Le Nou. This is a beautiful nude color for me. I also love that the bullet has these stars in it. This is the special limited edition packaging. You can get these without the limited edition packaging, but the limited edition packaging is so pretty. So I picked up these two guys. I've been wearing this when I've been feeling kind of adventurous and I want more of a bold lip. And I've been wearing this nonstop as my nude this month. So these two have been my favorite lipsticks. I hope I don't mispronounce this because it's really easy. It's Anastasia Beverly Hills, the clear brow gel. I don't know what hole or cave I have been living in. I literally just bought this a few weeks ago. I got a sample of it in my Sephora play box. I think it was August or September and I loved it and I went out and I bought a full size. I don't know where I've been. I literally don't know where I've been, but I've just been absolutely adoring this. This has just been like, I have very full like thick brows like I don't need to use a lot of brow products I also don't like my brows to look too groomed I kind of them to look a little bit more natural and this has just been perfect I just kind of fill them in a little bit with my brow pencil and then I've just been using this to just kind of keep everything in place and it has been amazing so definitely really happy I finally ended up getting this I don't know what took me so long next up are two brushes um one's new one I've had but I kind of didn't forget about it I just haven't been using it the first one that's newer is the Wayne Goss this is let me see the number of this guy 14 this has been my favorite brush so far for blush and bronzer and buffing I absolutely love this it's really really soft and this is just fantastic for hard to blend makeup I've just been really loving this and using this every day and the other one is like in my last beauty con box I love Luxie brushes and I actually talked about it in my beauty uh, battle between the um, inexpensive and expensive brands and it was the Luxie brush that is for like contour and cheeks um, and I had been using that one so much and I do love it so much that I kind of put this guy on the back burner for a little bit and then like I was cleaning all of my luxury brushes because that is just a chore in itself um, and then I remember you know here this guy was and I'm like why haven't I been using you anyway this is the Surratt cheek brush I think it's the cheek brush I forget exactly it's like the, their contour brush they have a variety of different brushes I have a, like one other Surratt brushes I really really love their brushes the handles really beautiful but like I have been putting this just on the back burner for the past few months just because I've been using other brushes and then I started using again after I cleaned it and I was like where why haven't I been using it this brush is phenomenal 
So I am glad to bring this little guy back to the party. Next up is another powder I've been using, and I um, this is from Givenchy. Givenchy can't pronounce words. You know that. Um, this is their Prism Libre powder. First off, the packaging is really pretty. This is just a beautiful. Let's see if I can open it without making a mess. There we go. This is just like four different colors. So it's got a uh, light pink, lavender, light green, and kind of like a periwinkle blue. And when you put this on your face, it just kind of color corrects everything, makes your complexion look really even, and just makes everything look really beautiful and soft. I have been using this on natural makeup days where I don't have much of any makeup on, other than maybe a little bit of bronzer and mascara. And I'll just put this on over my foundation and everything else and everything just looks nice and beautiful and I really really love this so I have been using the heck out of this and I'm really glad I got it I definitely worth the money I think this is pricey but I do believe it's definitely worth last it last but not least is a handbag I actually have been in the market for a new everyday bag I kind of retired my Prada not completely retired it but I've just been using it so frequently and it's a really fantastic bag and I absolutely love her but I kind of wanted a black bag so I was like okay I'm gonna put the brown one away and I wanted kind of like a slouchy Boston duffelish bag and so the only one I could think of getting was Alexander Wang. <laughs> this is the Alexander Wang Rocco bag this isn't the Rocky the small one this is the large one because I carry a lot of crap with me and this has the pale gold hardware on the bottom and oh my gosh I love this bag I love this bag I love this bag I've been wanting this bag for years and I just have never gotten around to getting it so loving it um, it's nice and big it's super durable it holds everything there's pockets in here more pockets than I thought were gonna be in here I just adore this bag so this has been my favorite of the month of everything this is it this is my baby this month so yeah those are my favorites. I hope you enjoyed this favorites video. I'm kind of happy again that I don't have any no favorites or things I didn't like. It makes me happy when I don't have anything bad to talk about. Um, if you want any reviews on any of these products that I just kind of briefly touched on, let me know. If you have any favorites yourself you want to share, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. In any case, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. Also, don't forget to subscribe. It's free. I'm free and I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well so I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever and I'll see you next time. Bye!